These are the big payloads Hammer down on the floor These are the restless roads Every one of them There have to be three layers of shingles covering any, any point at the same time. And so, the, and for the first course, because we're going to be building it out, we want to start by creating those three levels at the bottom so that it'll be, um, so it'll be the right thickness, something like that. So Peter has kindly cut for us um, shingles of the, the right length um, for layering up this bottom, and that's what we'll start with. Uh, and so they'll go the shorty, and then the second layer will be this middle one, and then the third layer will be will be this. And that will start right at the trim here. <clears throat> um, okay, so that's sort of, and, and we'll start by putting on this course, and then we put this course on, and then we put this course over. Um, between each um, set of shingles, you want to have a quarter inch to a, an eighth of an inch to a quarter inch gap. And that is so that when there is expansion and contraction um, <clears throat> with the amount of humidity, we don't have a problem um, with things getting um, buckly. So, so Each shingle gets two nails. Um, uh, with this layer, we don't worry too much about where they are. Don't position them right next to the edge where they're likely to split. Um, uh, but there, it's going to get covered up. Then once we do finish this first course, then the, we'll do that next layer, and we'll want to cover this gap here. Um, so we make sure we're, we're um, always covering the gap um, of the previous course with the next course. Does that make sense? Um, and then once we, get, uh, once we get this first course done and we start to get, or the first three layers done uh, all the way around and we start to get up towards trim and such, Peter will um, instruct us further because we will need to do some cutting of things. Um, Peter has uh, the saws and I brought a utility knife and Peter has all the things we need is the theory. If you have a nailing apron that's useful because then you can put these little nails in your pocket. If you don't have a nailing apron you hold them in your mouth and you just spit them right into the shingle. <laughs> Very good. These are the six penny galvanized nails that we will be using today. Be like me. My little delicate kitty ears. All right. These are the big payloads. So that we want to figure out, we want a course, we want this course over here to run one right with that, okay? And then after we get that one all done, we'll check again to hit the top one so that 
you have the bottom of your course is actually going to run even, right, right across. Okay. So there's a couple ways to do that. One is you can just measure it and divide by six, and then work it out under. Or the other way is to do it like this. I don't know if So um, six times four is twenty-four. So if you hold that like that, so when you mark six inches right here, right? And so then you measure that, and our course is going to be five. Five and a quarter. So right? how did you come up with that? <laughs> so I took the diagonal. So six times four is twenty-four. Mm. Or I could have done. Let's well, see, eighteen won't work. So I had to go to twenty-four, right? Okay, but don't you want to mark the other courses as well on the same diagonal? You can. The problem is, it's not going to help you right now unless you take a level and go all the way both ways. Okay. So I just want to know what works out without doing a lot of math. Uh -huh. And this way, if I got 24 inches here, right, and I mark the 6, it's on an angle, right. but it gives, still gives me 6, 12, 18, 24. And so I, I marked it, and what it was was 5 and a quarter. So now if I come over here, up, on both sides, I can just keep going five and a quarter. And you're assuming that five and a quarter will work up to five and a quarter. Okay. And the next one would be ten and a half, right? Then fifteen and three quarters. Fifteen and three quarters, be five, be twenty, twenty-six, right? Fifteen and three quarters. Yeah, for, would be twenty. I'm sorry. Uh, it would, would be, be twenty-one.